what we see, and we see this all the time in our shelter, is that our clients, one, they're not getting to the supermarket, and if they do get to the supermarket, they're not buying fresh produce. They're buying the cheapest thing that they can get in order to feed their family of five. We have shelter residents that come out every single week and water it. One resident goes out at four o'clock in the morning every single day to make sure that it's watered. We've harvested about almost 300 pounds of produce from the garden, which went out to about 130 families we've been able to feed. When the initial rainfall occurs, the water that is on the roof and is running down the pipes is kind of filthy. So any, any pollution that's on the rooftop, we don't want to get into our garden beds. So we want to capture it and keep it separate from any of the water that's going to be irrigating the beds. So the initial water will be funneled into the tank. The clean water is then channeled down through this pipe that runs parallel to the beds. And each bed has its own perforated pipe for rainwater to be delivered. The concern is that that there isn't much known about the suitability of irrigating um, vegetable crops with rooftop runoff and reclaimed water. So during the summer of 2018, the Centre for Coastal Watershed Studies partnered with Conserve, which is a USDA-funded centre of excellence out of the University of Maryland. We had some students from Hood and some students from the University of Maryland working together to figure out whether or not the produce grown in our vegetable rain gardens were suitable for consumption. It seems to me to, that it's ridiculous to use drinking water, possible water, to irrigate your crops with, when we could be using something like rainwater um, and other reclaimed water. Other countries are so far ahead of us in terms of reusing water that I think we have a lot that we could be doing and make a big difference. <laughs>